So I have the lofty goal of turning my property into something that's incredibly wildlife friendly. Um, and this came about mostly through the desire to hunt and try hunting and I wanted animals to come to my property so that I could hunt them and use them as a food source. But also it's just nice to have animals around. Like I find so that's part of the reason why I wanted to live kind of out in the middle of nowhere and be able to see wildlife because there's something very, very therapeutic about that, even if you're not, say, you know, consuming them. <laughs> But in any case, I haven't seen rabbits around and they made me really, really sad until one day I saw a little bunny that was living, took residence in this big forsythia bush. And I've seen him many, many, many times, he comes out at dusk pretty much every single day to go rummaging through everything looking for food. But I wanted to help him out through the winter here and make sure he or she stays and hopefully encourages more bunnies to arrive. So as much as I do other improvements to encourage wildlife to appear and include including bunnies, I want to keep this one here. So I actually set up a feeding station. So those of you who have been around my channel a while will no notice that this is the old duck, auto-filling duck waterer. Waterer. <laughs> and um, I'm now using it as a feeder because it does a pretty good job keeping the, the rain out and the snow out. I just filled it with some Timothy hay and some rabbit pellets. And at the very bottom, there's two bricks to help weigh it down so it doesn't get blown away by the wind. So we have very, very, very strong winds out here. And honestly, I didn't think the bunny would use it right away because I've heard that they're very suspicious of anything that might have human scent on it. So I actually doused the whole thing in apple cider vinegar. And I guess that worked um, because the first, <laughs> the first night I was able to catch images of him using the feeder. He comes out just at the point of sunset where the images aren't so great because the camera has a very difficult time in those twilight hours, this old camera. But uh, I have gotten pictures of him. I know he uses it. So that's cool. And so I'm really excited. So I hope he'll stick around. I hope he'll have a really great winter. And I'm more than happy to feed him. This goes hand in hand with uh, some deer feeding I'm doing. But I'll get to that in another another video. Winter feeding. Um, that's a different topic. So for now, just talking about the little bunny. Little bunny, I hope you stick around. I will not eat you specifically. Perhaps someday if you have children, maybe I will cons hunt them. But in any case... Um, it's working out really well and I'm very excited. So hopefully I'll give you updates to see how this goes. Um, squirrels also get into it, which I'm not thrilled about because they have gotten into way too much. They actually destroyed one of my bird feeders and, just, and completely destroyed the baffles that I have. So uh, yeah, I have too many squirrels on this property. I need to start hunting and eating them. Um, but in any case, again, topic for a different video. Just wanted to fill you in on this cool uh, wild, uh, excuse me, wild bunny feeder, wild rabbit feeder. And I'll keep you updated, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future updates of wildlife feeding and wildlife management. And uh, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it for this video. And thank you for watching, and thank you for joining me on this journey. Bye-bye.